past couple of years have seen gaming laptops getting slimmer and getting more portable. But Dell is doing something different, completely different. They've got the new Area 51M, which is the first laptop which is actually upgradable. Yes, a lot of laptops can be upgraded with the RAM or the storage, but this machine, you can actually upgrade the CPU and the GPU. This comes with the latest Intel Core i9-9900K, which is the most powerful CPU ever, and you can also configure it with an NVIDIA RTX 2080, the most powerful GPU. And yes, it's not the mobile version, it is the desktop version. I've been playing with it for a while now, so now we're gonna see what this thing is actually made of. The first thing you'll notice about the Area 51M is that it's a big machine, which isn't surprising. It weighs almost 4 kilograms, has a maximum thickness of about 1.7 inches and features a big 17.3 inch display. Having said that, it isn't the biggest 17 inch notebook on the market as it is significantly smaller compared to most gaming notebooks with a 17 inch display. Of course, it's fundamentally an Alienware product. Dell has introduced a new design this time and it is unlike any of the products that the company offers. In fact, it is unlike any product on the market today. It's a cleaner, futuristic look that stands out and feels pleasing rather than being very aggressive. Of course, the notebook fulfills your thirst for LED lighting and from a distance looks like a prop right out of a sci-fi movie. The 17.3 inch display packs most of the features a gamer usually looks for. This includes a fast 144Hz refresh rate, G-Sync, Toby eye tracking and thin bezels. Sadly, you only get a 1080p resolution screen. But personally, I think I would prefer a faster, responsive display any day rather than one which pushes out more pixels. But for the ones who care about detailing, Dell is expected to launch a higher resolution option later in the year. In terms of colors, viewing angles and brightness, I didn't have any complaints. Now performance is key here and the company is making a bold statement with the Area 51M. The machine is made for gamers who care about the highest performance possible and the company is offering one of the fastest chipsets, the Intel Core i9-9900K paired to Nvidia's most powerful graphics processor, the new RTX series. The model that I'm testing here features the top of the line desktop version of the Nvidia RTX 2080, 32GB of RAM, 512GB of M.2 SSD and a 1TB hybrid hard drive. All of that is connected to an Intel desktop class Z390 chipset. And to actually see all of that, I took out my toolkit and began disassembling this beast. Now while this process looks very easy, it can get a bit tedious if you aren't familiar with the PC components. Also, we advise you not to dismantle your laptop unless you know what you're dealing with. Now, as you can see that I have removed the first panel and I've already got access to the hard drive. There is the M.2 SSD. There are four slots for the RAM, which two of which are actually being used. So you can actually go up to 64 GB of RAM on this. And there's a 90 watt hour battery. Now, of course, there are two giant fans here. There are a lot of fins in it. And the best thing about this uh, machine is that every link, uh, little screw and every little connector is labeled. So, you know, if you're disassembling it, if you want to actually upgrade things, you know where everything is, which is pretty cool. Now, the CPU and the GPU are under the copper plates. I don't know if you can see it. The copper plates are hidden under this plastic cladding. So now I'm going to remove this part and there's another cladding here. I have to remove the battery, the, the SSD, everything has to be removed. And then I can get access to the CPU and the GPU as well. Now if you can afford this machine and don't mind the whole disassembly process, the Area 51M gives you a whole new level of upgradability in a notebook. You can go ahead and slap a new Intel chip in a few years. Notably, while the GPU is said to be upgradable, it sits in a custom module. There is no guarantee that it will keep pace with what Nvidia releases in the future. So as of now, you're stuck only with the RTX series GPUs. Now, all of that hardware requires a lot of power and that battery just doesn't cut it. You can get about one and a half hours of battery life out of it but at low performance capability. The Area 51M comes with two chargers. Yes, you heard it right. You get two giant bricks to power the desktop class CPU and GPU. And I've been told that the RTX 2070 model uses two 240W adapters. 
The reason why there are two chargers is because certain countries do not allow laptop chargers to be rated over a certain limit. So Dell has just split the power required into two. Coming now to the performance and experience, this is one notebook that is lightning fast and buttery smooth. It can boot up instantly and the 144Hz display feels silky and all of that hardware makes up for all the gaming performance one would need. Games like Metro Last Light, Overwatch and PUBG ran over 100 FPS without any issues while Rise of the Tomb Raider and Witcher 3 ran between 60 to 80 FPS on the highest settings. To cool all of that power hungry hardware, Dell has used two large fans and a bunch of copper tubing inside. The fans pull in air from the bottom and push out the heat from the rear and the side vents. You can control the fans thanks to the Alienware Command Center software which also lets you control all the lighting effects and overclock the CPU and the GPU, not that you will actually need to do that. The keyboard and trackpad both feel pretty good and are probably the only two components that you can't actually upgrade apart from the display. The 2.2mm key travel is pretty good, although it's a very mushy feeling. And the trackpad is quick and responsive with support for Windows Precision drivers. The notebook also packs in a good collection of ports, including standard USB ports, a USB Type-C Thunderbolt port, dedicated headphone and mic jacks, HDMI, display port, Ethernet, and even Alienware's proprietary graphics amplifier port. Which seems like an overkill since the machine is already running on an RTX 2080. The one thing that is missing though is an SD card slot, which is weird as it doesn't seem that there were any space constraints. It is safe to say that it is a proper desktop replacement. At the same time, I wonder who is actually going to spend so much money just because of the upgradability factor. The Area 51M then is a tough recommendation, even though you can upgrade the CPU and GPU apart from the RAM, storage and other components. But carrying it around is a pain as it comes with two giant adapters, combining to a total of 7 kilograms of weight. This is then more of a niche product made for a very small section of gamers and enthusiasts who have a lot of money and want that alien logo shining on their machine. In the end, the Area 51M is made for enthusiasts because if you're going to spend over 3 lakhs, you need some kind of surety if it's going to be upgraded in the future or not. Yes, Dell has said that you can actually upgrade the CPU and the GPU, but at what cost? So this machine is actually made for someone who doesn't care a lot about the money. They just want something that is future-proof and wants the whole Alienware logo on the back.